Hi, I'm Jane Play. I'm creating free video content teaching people how to trade Betfair absolutely for free. If you're enjoying my videos or you're learning from them, please support me back by hitting the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit the like button on any videos you watch. This will enable me to create more free content for you so you can learn to become a better trader. Best of luck in the markets. And they'll jump ten. Glenn Giever, the grey wearing cheek pieces towards the right, is one of the first to show with Ben Lilly and by Jove and uh, Ballygo on the left as they get over number one. The black and red taking a bit of a hold early is Mabel Kingsmill, just in behind Glenn Giever. Stablemate Martha Burrell, she's just about the back marker, chased along early towards the rear, take me dancing. So they get over the second. So we've got maidens, two and a half, I'm going to say two and a half miles, a bit further than that, it's two miles, five furlongs. Craftsman, two circuits in front of them. Um, doggly, doggly. Basically, in my eyes, it's a free runner race. In second. So we need to trade these horses. One of them's going to win. We don't want to be caught on a lay side. The winner. So we've got to be careful. Get our money through safely. Get a few ticks. Get out before the business end of the race. We'll adopt that. That's for a different strategy. Mabel Kingsmill in front of Take Me Dancing and Mehal Nolan and the back marker is. Um, and that's the key. Yeah, you know. Towards. And if we don't get a um, a good opportunity, then sim quite simply we won't trade. Don't trade for the sake of it. That's how you lose money. There's no strategy that works in every single market horse race. Doesn't matter. Even if you're a football trader, there's no strategy that works in every single race. If you think there is, you're a fool. You have to pick your races carefully that suit your strategy. For me, I need longer distance races. Longer distance races means I've got more time to think if it goes wrong. I also use the race timer to make sure I'm not involved in the business end of the race without a pre plan, basically. Because that is just suicide and where you're going to lose your money. So I don't like we're going to get matched on that runner anytime soon. I'm using the to cancel that off. And we'll just reassess the situation. You can see that we're not even halfway through the race yet. According to the race timer. And like Martha Burrell, she is running in her first race this afternoon. And we have an odd son in the race, so we've got to think that this, at that price, or just below even money, um, that holds 50% of the market. So if that was to disappear out, everything else has to come in and share that 50% of the market somewhere else. And it obviously isn't going to be on these outsiders. Possibly Mr. Craftsman. Well, I suppose you never know, but it's unlikely to be on any others. So you have to take this all into consideration when you're trading. Just don't start clicking numbers without thinking. Take me down unless you want to lose money both struggling at the back. so I'm looking for a good entry point here as well in six and I'm thinking now. there a deer! Leads towards what at the moment because I think that's value up. and what I want is someone to just place a big bet in pick me up and we get matched for our profit if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen we're not going to risk money see the favorites coming in price it's holding a much more of the market share now which is obviously going to push the other runners out at Martha Burrell, who has relegated Take Me Down. You can see the overround up here, look, it's jumping up and down close to 100, a little bit over as the prices are moving. Leads on this final circuit to in second position, Ben Lilly, the black and white, just racing in behind. But these, you've really got to keep an eye on that short priced runner. We get no money for this, it's not an issue. Now, you see where my money is, it's 300 quid in front of me, so I ain't going to get matched there. Until that's matched, so I might here, jump in front of it. Now we're getting a bit later on. I want six ticks for a bigger profit because I'm taking more risk. So when you're taking more risk, you want a bigger reward. So it, so you're still profitable long term. This is a long term game. Don't forget, not a short term game. Thought we were going to get matched there. Now you can see that big money's gone. And we need the other money out pretty quick. And if we can't, we're going to get matched, don't we? Yeah. So if we couldn't, you have to get rid of it. Now the closest pursuer in second as Ballygo 
starts to be is it safe in third position is under maximum pressure I'll get away with it just for a minute shaken up Ben Lilly is trying to get that, 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 that sucker the drive in second place. still got two quid in unfortunately he has a small lead now as they turn and now we're out and that's job done now you see we're in that red zone this is where they're going to sort out who wins the race and who doesn't I don't care who wins now I just want to try and get a fiver if I can Christ is going out Running to the second last, Glenn Giver with the initiative. Every here. penny counts ben in this Rock game over the long run. Glenn Giver coming towards the Looks second like we're going to get full 75. Second position. It's the best and up and day. Giver's got Ben Lilly Cook now as they run down. That would do though. Towards the last, Glenn Giver with a five-length lead over Ben. You know, but you've got to think about these things. You've got to consider most people lose. Most people actually have a winning strategy, but they can't pull it off because they overtrade. Overtrading means you're trading races. Um, for the sake of it, just because you want Market to trade. Market suspended. And actually, you're putting your money in places where you're not necessarily going to profit. Now, what I do, I use this spreadsheet here. And I highly recommend you get a copy. I'll just I, I load it up. right, And I'll just put a pin in it so you can see. And this, literally, I, from this, I can look at every single race I've ever traded. I can look at every track I've ever traded. I can see where my profits come from, where my losses come from. I know. So I know, for example, that for some reason, Group 2 races, I've only traded eight of them, so maybe that we've got some more data to come. But you can see, look, on these, these races here, the stakes races, I don't do very good at it. I've had 18 races, um, and my total profits are 191.71 over them races, and my total losses are 210. And I can break that all down and I can say, well, this isn't a good uh, type of race to to trade. And you can see when you look at the race tracks as well, a lot of them are rubbish. Aintree's a good track. But look, look, a lot of them, like, you know, Dundalk, for example. I've done all right at Leopardstown. It's the only Irish track I really do well at. But I know that from looking at all my figures. So it's just something to think about. If you want to get successful in this game, you need to be analysing your figures. This is the best a uh, bit of kit on the market I know of. It's not my bit of kit. I, I'll advertise it because I believe in it. And that's it. That's it. And you can like, you know, you can look at all sorts of things. It's, it's a crazy spreadsheet. I'm not sure why they're not. But, you know, you can look at dates. You can break things down. It doesn't, you can use this for all sorts of things. That's what I make month by month. My biggest month was actually in December uh, 2020, um, where I was up there at three grand for the month. You know, I don't make millions trading Betfair, but I do make a living out of it. And um, I do it by making sure I know what I'm doing. I'm in the right races. I don't trade rubbish. Uh, and I don't trade rubbish or overtrade because I have this at hand. Get yourself a copy. There's a link in the description. If you click on the link, it doesn't force you to buy it. It, it will take you to a web page where you can read up loads more about the sheet and see if it's for you first. I don't encourage anyone to buy anything that isn't actually going to help them. So if it ain't for you, don't worry. But click on the link and, and certainly have a read. Best of luck in the markets. Introducing Geek's Toy Trading Software, the fastest, most customizable and most popular software for betting and trading on Betfair and BetDAC. Designed by professional traders for you. Key features include unlimited desktop settings and the ability to create custom profiles to suit every user's needs. unbeatable speed, real-time prices, and one-click betting. Unique management of multiple markets. You can bet or trade on multiple sporting events simultaneously. Support for eight languages. Context-driven help on every window. Dutching and bookmaking, training mode, advanced charting, enhanced navigation, support for Betfair coupons, stop loss and more. Geek's Toy, possibly the best Betfair and BetDAC trading software in the world.